versus degree. These numbers are all higher than last year, and these graduates represent an important contribution to the human resources of the nation and the state of California, a return on the state's educational investment of which the college can be proud. We have come together tonight, however, to celebrate not the college's achievements, but the achievements of this year's bachelor's degree recipients. The predecessor of these students, nearly 7,500 alumni over almost three decades, I trust as you look back on the UCD years, your primary memory will be happy one. Today your joy is probably mixed with some sadness about leaving your friends, some anxiety about the future and the job market, and some trepidation about the working world and what you can achieve in it. You may be asking, am I really ready to contribute? We think so. We know you have worked hard. The faculty have seen to that. We have tried to teach you the basics, but in four years, or even in the five years you super seniors have been with us, we cannot teach you everything. <laughs> so we have tried to prepare you for a lifelong, lifelong learning in a rapidly changing, knowledge-intensive world. One reason is so the faculty please rise and face the graduates. everyone has been recognized. The first group I would like to introduce are faculty who will be retiring this year. Together, they represent 137 years of experience at Davis and many more years of knowledge of engineering. The teaching and advising capacity and institutional memory that they have furnished us can never be replaced. We are sorry to see them go, but we wish them well in their retirement. John Kemper, former dean of the college and professor of chemical engineering, is retiring after 31 years of service to the University of California, Davis. Dean Emeritus Kemper came to Davis after a very career spent with such organizations as Lockheed, Telecomputing Corporation, SCM, H.E. Wagner, and the U.S. Army. All of these contributed to the extensive experience he has shared with the faculty and students most special in his capacity as Dean of the College from 1969 to 1983. C.K. Shen, Professor of Civil Engineering and Chair of the Department of Civil Engineering, came to the College in 1967 of Civil Engineering, and Peter Strover, Chemical Engineering, jointly had been awarded the Student Selected Michael Running Award for Distinguished Teaching. This award is presented annually through student viewpoint publication of ASUCD. Unfortunately, Professor Strober is not able to be with us tonight. His daughter is as we speak, graduating from Davis High School, and he naturally wanted to witness this event. Professor Rongstein, however, is here in his capacity as faculty marshal and perennial award. Also unable to be with us because of the Davis High School graduation ceremony is Edward Schroeder, Department of Civil Engineering, who has won the Outstanding Advisor Award and Academic. Last year, Professor Rob Rums won them both. A second winner of the Academic Senate Distinguished Teaching Award is Professor Stephen Whitaker, a chemical engineer professor. Our college, the smallest on campus, 
has won two of the three distinguished teaching awards given by the Senate for 1990-91. And we're all good to professor service and winner selection. The third group of faculty on the stage are those who serve as administrators with me. So here we need Professor of Material Science and Engineering and Associate Dean for Graduate Affairs. Jim Shackelford, Professor of Material Science and Engineering, but Associate Dean of Undergraduate Affairs. Our third Associate Dean, Ben McCoy, Professor of Chemical Engineering, and with Professor Sheldon Strober and the children at Davis High School. Lest you think we honor no one but faculty, we have on the stage party students or former students. Two are members of our alumni, William Gray, distinguished alumnus of 1991, and Gina Berg, chair of California IV Engineering Alumni Association. We, ha we have with us as well three members of the graduating class, Kevin Cole, college medal, Tom Clifford, recipient of the campus Meeklin Winslow Junior Service Award, and Cynthia Landing, our student speaker, I'll introduce them to you fully later on. Will these members of the stage party please now we give them a He's the Chancellor of the Davis Campus and Professor of Environmental Toxicology, Theodore L. Cutler. Thank you, Dean Gauzy, members of the class of 1991. <laughs> Dean Gauzy, distinguished faculty, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to share this joyous occasion to help celebrate the achievements of this year's graduates. Members of the class of 1991, we have something in common. Like many of you, I arrived three or four years ago, 1987. Like you, I knew and discovered that UC Davis is a top competitive institution. Like you, I've had some experiences that I couldn't wait to write my mom about, and others that I hope she will never discover. I think some of us know what those might be, right? <laughs> Like you, I discovered that four years ago is not a lot of time to get a good job done. Having said that, let me say that I salute you and I congratulate you. The names of this year's recipients have been listed for you in the program. As each citation winner passes across the stage to receive the degree, we will announce the citation and the department that has awarded it. Among our campus award winners is Thomas A. Crumpton, the recipient of the B. Glenn Winslow Jr. Service Award, presented to an outstanding graduating man in the UC Davis class of 1991. Thomas, will you come to this class? Mr. Clifford, a joint major in aeronautical and mechanical engineering, has received this award for the day, who was this year charged by choosing a single speaker from a very strong pool of applicants. This choice fell on Cynthia Simmons Landon. Cynthia was born in the Philippines and grew up in Santa Maria. She is a graduate senior in the Department of Chemical Engineering and combines outstanding scholastic achievement with leadership in a number of student activities with significant employment and with undergraduate research. Her topic is education, a path to refinement. Graduates, families, and friends. It is with pride and mixed emotions that 
that I stand before you as a member of the 1991 graduating class of the College of Engineering at the University of California, Davis. We are sad to say goodbye to an important part of our lives and to the many professors and classmates who have had a part in it. As we look forward to the exciting adventures that life has in store for each of us, we are thankful the professors have done their best to prepare us to meet the challenges of the future. This is the tomorrow we have been preparing for since we entered kindergarten. As a mechanical engineer, I'm very familiar with the process of refining oil. And since many of you graduates will be working in the oil business, I thought I would compare the path of the engineering education with the process of refining oil. Our freshman year can be compared to the raw crude oil that tested to the refinery. Raw crude is exactly that, raw and unpolished. Remember the first time you stepped on the day of campus? You're probably filled with excitement, yet unsure exactly what to expect. Many of you are probably topping your senior classes in high school, or let's say a big frog in a little pond. The situation was completely reversed when it came to David, and you realized that many of the other students were also the top of their senior classes. Now we're all the same size frog, trying to survive in a much larger pond. Our sophomore year can be compared to the storage tank in the refinery. The raw food may to be refined. Now we knew a little more about Davis, and we definitely felt like we had our feet on the ground. But we really didn't consider ourselves to be agricultural or chemical or civil engineers. We were simply students trying to pass our classes and gain a solid foundation in basic engineering. Then it happened. We became junior engineering students. This year can be compared to the distillation tower or separation unit in the refinery. We started splitting out into our respective disciplines and began referring to ourselves as electrical engineers, computer scientists, mechanical engineers, aeronautical, and materials engineers. Our senior year can be compared to the preparation of the product to sell the open market. Now, we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Each of us decided the path that we would follow after obtaining our Bachelor of Science degree. Some of us have decided to attend graduate school, so in the future we can conduct our own research or work on research teams that will serve both the public and our profession. While some of us with an advanced degree will return to college campuses to serve as professors. Some of us have decided to pursue permanent positions in the industrial arena, possibly become project engineers, manufacturing engineers, or environmental engineers. While some of us have decided to pursue different paths and equal values. But whatever the choice, we all have one common binding tie. We obtained a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of California at Davis, one of the best institutions in the country. You should look back on your education to see like Davis and know that you have been more than adequately prepared to meet the challenges of the future. On a last note, I'd like to again congratulate each of you for obtaining your Bachelor of Science degree. It's been a long road to get here. Many long nights studying, two, three in the morning, sometimes all night. Doing endless homework assignments, which of course we're always doing on the same day. Surviving on hamburgers and coats because we're always on campus and the list goes on. But the stress and lack of sleep was definitely worth it as we sit here tonight in anticipation of receiving our diploma. And as the Israeli once said, the secret of success in life for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. For us, that opportunity is now. Now is the time for us to try our wings as we advance to the next day for our lives. Good luck to all of you, whether it be graduate school, industry, or another path. With an engineering degree from the University of California at Davis, the sky is the limit. Thank you.
Christy Casey.
Tim Burke. The guru was uh, mathematics. <laughs>
to go okay. Oh, it seemed to go okay. No, it's been giving me some funny you know, light. my pocket. You lose those, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we're sure slow you down anyway, right? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the thing is, that we... That's going to look funny. Hitch out of the freeway this time and night. That means it wasn't short. Okay? It could be a father's state press or something. Because we don't know what's there. We don't know if Jerry got in the habit. Everybody looking at it. Oh, it's open to all. It's open to somebody if they want to see their friends at all. Thank you. 